Hello, friends. Welcome to Merc Tribe channel. Uh, we got a check engine light on a W163 chassis ML350. Uh, now, the code point to the EVAP pressure sensor. I'm going to show you where it is. Here is the EVAP sensor. Um, basically, this is saying the fuel pressure is below threshold. There will be a couple of reasons. Um, breaking, uh, broken fuel line, uh, broken the EVAP pressure sensor, or uh, vacuum leak. The line, or uh, faulty fuel pressure system. I have replaced the e -well. um, It did not solve the problem. And, uh, uh, you can tell the e well is to work too. So. We are going to work on the uh, to replace the fuel pressure sensor. And you can tell this is the uh, fuel line, right? The when you uh, put gas on, this is the fuel tank connected to the fuel tank area. Now there is a pressure uh, sensor here, right? This guy. We are going to take it out and replace a new one. Okay. Now, to do so, uh, you need to do some uh, uh, disassembly work. We're going to, uh, to avoid the damage to the panel, we're going to take off, there's one, two, three, screw, another screw here, there's screw behind, a screw here, and that one as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to pull the panel out a little bit so we can have access to those uh, four screws to tighten the uh, pressure sensor. Take the plastic cover off, expose uh, three screws, another screw here. You have to peel off this uh, rubber trim, okay, all the way. And the reason is you want to take off this panel. There are two screw screw here, here and here. Uh, to peel this off, there is a screw here. Do not damage the panel. The screw is right here. Okay, there is one screw. Another screw is hidden behind the panel. Okay. Another one here. The cargo cover. And this one. After we take off these screws, we should be able to pull it. But still, there is a there is a, a clip um, behind the speaker. Be careful. Okay. Um, when you pull this panel to the side, it will give you enough space uh, to access. The four screws. Okay. Uh, you have to use a, a short Phillips screw to loosen it up. There is no enough space for the longer one. Okay. 
we unplug the fuel tank pressure sensor, the error code stays the same. Uh, it's another uh, testify. It's another testament that uh, the sensor is faulty. We disconnect the uh, wire to the fuel tank pressure sensor. Let's see if the error code stays the same. Okay, friends, we fixed the problem. Um, we fixed the problem of uh, error code P0452. We changed if the evap sensor. We changed the fuel tank pressure sensor, but that did not play the trick. Our enemy actually is this guy. Uh, aged, um, hardened hose. I change it to a softer hose. The engine code disappear. Um, check engine light disappear. So because of age, this become hardened and uh, it did not seal well. Uh, so check uh, on your hoses for the code of uh, P0452 uh, before you make the same uh, mistake like I did on the EVAP sensor and the fuel tank pressure sensor. Hope this will be helpful to you.